if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I have this series that I do and it's called 10 Things You're Doing Wrong. And they're basically just like life hacks and ways to do things better than you're already doing them. So this is not meant to like make anyone offended or anything, it's just for fun. Also, I want to start shouting you guys out. So if you want to tag me on Twitter and Instagram, if you have my post notifications on, then I'm going to start featuring people on my videos and I'll shout out either your Twitter account or your Instagram. Um, and I'll try to do like a few different people every video. So you should definitely go check out my Twitter and Instagram. Let me know if you have post notifications on. You can just take like a screenshot and let me know. And of course, make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this first hack I think is probably one of the most helpful ones that I've like ever seen, and it is to set your lock screen as your contact information if you ever lose your phone. Now I would recommend doing this specifically if you're like going out or you're going to a concert or just anywhere you think you might lose your phone. You can go into your notes and write down like your email address, maybe your friend's phone number, and then like a sibling's phone number, and then set it as your home screen. And this way, if anyone finds your phone, they'll have all of your contact information so they can contact you and hopefully get it back to you. So this next hack is for hanging pictures, and this one's a little bit hard to demonstrate because I don't actually have the right kind of frame for this hack, but you know how some picture frames have like that wire on the back to hang them up? Well, what you can do is put the nail into the wall and then put a fork over the nail. I just put this like little hair tie on the back of mine to kind of demonstrate it, but then you can thread the little wire hanging over the fork. It'll catch the nail and it's just like a lot easier to hang pictures this way. Sorry, I didn't have the right kind of frame for that. I'm just like not super bougie. So another thing you're doing wrong is throwing out your ice cube trays if you don't need them anymore. I know most refrigerators make ice now, but you can actually use these to store your makeup. They work perfectly for holding eyeshadow and I also use them for holding nail polishes as well you can put like them with the bottom facing down and just stack them and it's a lot easy to see all the colors this also works for dental floss literally like any small beauty product works so well in these so next we have ironing clothes and this is another thing that there's like a better way to do it so all you need is of course your iron and then some aluminum foil so if you're ironing your shirt like traditionally where you put it onto the iron and then you do one side at a time there's actually a faster way to do it you can take aluminum foil and stick it in the clothes that you're ironing this will heat up both sides of the clothes while you're ironing so you can do it twice as fast just of course be careful whenever you're working with an iron and obviously the foil is going to get really hot so you don't want to burn yourself so just be super careful when you're doing that well I know our phones obviously have the speakerphone option but sometimes when I'm running around and cleaning I don't want to pick up my phone like everywhere I'm going so this is an easier way to have your phone with you when you want to be hands-free you can take either a pair of headphones or a headband and just tuck your phone into them that way you can just like still be on the phone and not have to hold on to it this is kind of like a lazy life hack but it works pretty well I even like jumped up and down and tried to like dance and make sure that it would stay and for the most part it stayed pretty well you might have to readjust it if you feel it slipping and obviously just know your phone can fall but for the most part this works pretty well. So this next thing is not really as much you're doing wrong but just like kind of a helpful hack and that is to use hand sanitizer to remove marker from a dry erase board and this also works with sharpies as well so if you can't get it off do not stress and like freak out you can actually just use hand sanitizer all you need is like a towel or a tissue or something and this is also just helpful if you don't have the dry erase like solution with you because most people do carry hand sanitizer so yeah it's super easy and works really well so this next hack is for storing boots and if you're just leaving your like tall over the knee boots in your closet and just letting them like flop over and lose shape you're totally doing it wrong and there's a better way to do this all you need is a hanger that has pants clips on them and you can clip the tops of the boots together this will not only keep them together and organized but it also helps them keep shape and then you can just hang them up so the next hack is for your stinky armpits um, if you are just living with stinky armpits, you're doing it wrong. What you can do is actually take a little bit of Listerine and a cotton pad and you just want to soak the cotton pad and then you can just lightly like dab it onto your armpits. This really helps if like maybe you forgot deodorant a few days and like you just have that lingering scent. This will really help get rid of it. Now if you keep trying to open soda cans and you're either like breaking nails or messing up manicure or you just don't like to do it, there is a better way to do it. You can just take a hair tie and the soda can and actually just take the hair tie and pull it up under the soda tab. This, what I've tried to do is like first I tried to open it all the way and it couldn't quite pull the soda completely open 
but it lifts the tab far enough where it's high and then you don't have to like completely wedge your nail under there and it's super easy to open. So yeah, this is just really helpful. It makes it a little bit easier. So this next one I was super skeptical of. I saw it on TV and it's how you're making coffee wrong. So if you're just making coffee with your coffee grounds and water, it sometimes tastes really, really bitter. And some people put eggs in their coffee to like combat that like acidity and bitterness. So basically what you want to do, the key to this most important thing is that if you're using eggs, you need to make sure that the water you're making your coffee with is boiling. It has to, has to, has to be boiling. So that's like the most important part. Then what you can do is go in and add in your coffee grounds to the boiling water and then you can add in an egg. Now some people will take the eggshells from their egg and rinse those out and crush them up and also put it in there. I'm just not as comfortable with doing this. It really just kind of depends on what you feel good about. So definitely just kind of like cater this recipe to you. Once you're done mixing the egg and the water and the coffee grounds, you can just kind of stir it up and it'll make a paste and then you can just kind of strain it. Now, if you're not comfortable with the egg part, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like even with the boiling water, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. You can use hard boiled eggs instead and I 100% recommend this over just like regular eggs because I don't know, it just makes me a little bit nervous and I obviously want you guys to be super safe when you're making this. If you wanna replace the eggs with hard boiled eggs instead, I definitely recommend trying this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, let me know, do you guys like this like hair color? I'm testing it out just like on the bottom of my hair and it washes out super easy. So if any of you hate it, I will like totally get rid of it. Um, but I'm kind of digging it. So let me know in the comments like what you think of that. Um, be sure to check out my vlog channel, Twitter, and Instagram if you haven't yet already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.